Well, right now, dozens of peacemakers are working here in Indianapolis to reduce gun violence. More than a year into the city initiative, Gina Galeros rode along with two peacemakers affected by gun violence, determined to make a difference in the city they love. And we are going to the far east side, one of uh, the, our hardest hit areas with violence and the area that I'm personally most uh, familiar with. Sharday Hoskins and David Lee were both born and raised here on Indy's east side. Start losing classmates in high school to gun violence. If somebody like me who's from this city, who loves this city, doesn't um, push for change, then who else is going to do it? Hoskins is leading the city's gun violence reduction strategy. As an outreach worker day and night, Lee recognizes a little of himself in these streets. I lost my oldest brother um, in 2005, uh, November 28th to be exact. He was our he was our rock. Lee and other peacemakers have saved 40 lives in the first year of the program. We all have been through something, but what are we going to do to change that? What are we going to do to push past that to make it a little bit better? Oftentimes they're one of the first on the scene along with police. Are you ever concerned for your safety? No. Uh, no, this is this is my community. Um, I, I love the folks that I serve. The folks that I serve love, love us. Um, we look like them. Um, we dress like them. We are them. But building trust and seeing change takes time. We try to be the realest version of a support system that some people have never seen. What does that look like? The goal is a 10% reduction in shootings, and it's working. I truly, truly believe that if my brother was here today, he would be doing the work. I mean, he would be doing this job. Lee and Hoskins determined now to raise each of their sons in the same community they were raised. And funding for the city's peacemaker program goes through 2024. Sharday Hoskin tells me she's determined to provide monthly data to the mayor to show this is working and be able to extend their work past next year. And I think that's really key. I mean, we talk about this peacemaker program for a lot, but it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with IMPD. It is a city program, mm -hmm. but it's peacemakers like these folks who are so, so passionate mm -hmm. about the community that they are living in and working to see real change here. A way to engage the community mm -hmm. and I mean for them to be a part of what they know specifically you exactly. know police don't aren't always right there right. it's theirs Gina thank you